All right, you guys, so we'll take a look how to make this hologram text effect here in Photoshop. All right, so I'm going to try to reproduce this thing here in Photoshop, but it is also better to make this in Illustrator first and later on add the effects in Photoshop. But anyways, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go with this artboard size painted black. And in my situation, I'm going to go with a pre-made type. And your situation, if you're going to type in something, all you need to do is go to the layer with the text, right click on it and select convert a smart object. And I'm also going to rename this. So now we can press Ctrl T and then press and hold Ctrl. Let's go here to the corners and distort the shape. This way we're going to need to put it in perspective. So I think this is pretty good. I'm going to place it somewhere here. Double click, release. And from here, all you need to do is double click on the text layer. And first I'm going to go here to the fill opacity and I'm going to decrease this to 60. And then I'm going to go to the stroke. Let's activate the stroke. Make sure the color is on white. Click OK. And here for the size, I'm going to go with like four, make sure the position is inside. And I think we're good. Click OK. So now I'm going to go to the layer with the text. I'm going to collapse this and press Ctrl J to duplicate. I'm going to bring the top one on the bottom and we're going to create some multiple copies of this. And I'm going to bring the text down, press and hold Shift. And here I'm going to need to create four more copies. So press Ctrl J four times and we're going to create this extrusion effect. So I'm going to go with this text at the bottom. And I'm going to go and drag it down, press and hold shift. Now let's go to the layers, press and hold shift. I'm going to select these five layers with the extrusion. And let's go here to the align, click on the three dots. And I'm going to go and select this one. So now we have a pretty nice extrusion. So from here, what we're going to need to do is search for the very bottom one, which is this one. And then we're going to need to search for the second one from the bottom which is this one. I'm going to bring it down. So make sure to arrange these correctly. And I'm going to search for the third, which is at the top. So I'm going to bring it down and so on and so forth. And this is going to be the top layer. All right. So what we're going to need to do here is I'm going to go to the very first layer with the text, which is of course at the bottom. So this is going to be the most transparent. So let's go here to the opacity and I'm going to go down with 10. And then we're going to go to the second layer and we're going to decrease the opacity to this is going to be 20. Let's go to third. This is going to be 30, fourth, 40. And then the fifth is going to be 50. So basically going to need to look something like this. I also going to go to the top text layer and increase the fill a little bit more. It has to be the most prominent. All right, so now we're going to need to duplicate this top text. So let's press Control J. Let's bring this text to the bottom here and I'm going to rename it as Blur. And let's go here to the filter. Let's go to Blur and select Motion Blur. This is going to add some blur. Make sure the angle is on 90 degree angles. And with the distance, I'm going to go with 290. Click OK. And from here, I'm going to bring this blur down. I'm also going to click on the top text layer. Let's go and add a solid color make it black, click OK. Let's go to the filter. Let's go to noise, add noise, click on convert to smart object. And here I'm going to go with uh, 30 for 1080p. Make sure to uncheck the monochrome and click OK. Let's go to blend mode and switch it to, I'm going to go with screen. And about at least we're going to go to the adjustments. Let's go and select the gradient map. And here I'm going to click on the gradient and let's adjust the gradient. I'm going to bring this in and add another handle. Click on the color and here we can switch the color. Probably going to go with some dark purple. Click OK. And then I'm going to add another one somewhere here. And I'm going to make this blue. Click OK. Add another blue. Make it lighter. Click OK. And about least the last one is going to be some greenish. And from here, all you need to do is just adjust the handle as best as possible to get the most holographic effect out of it. Something like this. Click OK. And pretty much that's how you make this holographic text effect here on Photoshop. Thanks for watching.